Hey guys, welcome to Higan Iruthil, and this is the end game. Just joking. We're actually um, towards the end game already. How to prepare for the end game? How does it look like currently? I'm currently at troop level 90, 92, which is high already. It's really difficult to go up every level. And uh, I just want to share with you guys how my roster looks like at this point. So I have this roster. I'm developing multiple rosters already because I'm playing PvP team. So that is actually one thing that you have to prepare once you're, you know, towards the end game or near the end game. So I have, I'm actually developing Basil at this point. I have to kick out somebody here. I just know, don't know who. Probably not sure. Siakum probably will see. Uh, but this is my 13-man lineup. So three teams for, for Team PvP are here. Um, most of them are at 70. Some are still lagging behind, like Basil. Um, some of them are over 70 already, which is actually difficult to do. So difficult really to to ascend from 70. Because these, um, these ones, although now it's obtainable... It's really difficult to farm these because some of them, um, once you use this uh, box uh, option here, so let's say, for example, if I use that one, um, they're still craftable. So just have to move forward until you run out of uh, craftable materials. Then once you're, you run out of, not of craftable materials, you run out of supplies, then... You're gonna be going to crafting, so you gotta craft them from smaller type, so smaller similar type um, materials. Then going to this type, get my drift. So just to produce one of these, this is your complete crystalline chip. You will need three of these, your double crystalline chip. So that's a lot of farming, just to go over seventy. So at this point, I'm just limiting myself to to four. Probably go to five eventually. I'm not sure who to. I'm. This is actually my main team. So you get my main team: Sirslet, Rita, Gilden, and Nuno. And also, it's really difficult to farm these materials because from level seventy up, you're gonna be using these only, exclusively to farm from you know seventy one and up. So this this is the only um, currency that they, they will allow you to use. You can no longer use these currencies when you are going up from 70 to 71. Okay, so that is basically a bummer. So a lot of farming to be done in the end game, definitely. So this is my roster, guys. Um, comment Comment down below on how my roster looks, if it's good enough. So, so, so far, I'm happy with this. Main DPS would be Sirslet and Rita. Gildan would be my tank. And Nunu is my main healer. Okay. So, so far, as far as the tasks is concerned, I usually clear daily, weekly. I've cleared growth already. Main story, this is just because I lack the energy. I'm currently finishing the Phoenix event the burning phoenix event this has 16 hours to go i'd like to finish this uh tomorrow as i wake up in the morning i'd like to finish this because i'm already at um in terms of the gotcha shop i'm actually in the last i have 30 pulls here so i need to farm you know farm the feathers here for you know to to redeem at least 3000 more so Again, uh, for adventure, uh, that's for the task. Um, this one, I've been, you know, I've been lazy actually in doing this, but this is very doable already. At thirty nine, I'm at fifty seven power, I think, for the four. So I'm at, I'm at fifty seven. So more or less, I can clear this. I'm just real, I real, not not that I'm lazy, but I'm reallocating resources because again, energy is so scarce here. I'm reallocating resources to the Burning Phoenix event. I'm actually catching up here. I need a lot of catch up to do. This event, actually, if you haven't finished it, this event is nice because it gives a lot of 
a lot of resources here. It gives um, these resources. If you are actually looking for uh, resources to upgrade from 70 to 71 onwards, then you'll, you'll get these in the Burning Phoenix event. So try to farm. They're, they're not guaranteed drops, but most of the time you get a lot of them there. And like that event, you need to farm and chances are you'll get only a few so adventure i'm nearing the end of that um what i i'm supposed to do is to finish all of the stages here this also needs to be finished so as you can see i still have um because i'm only playing this if i'm farming i'm not going over and getting the rewards probably gonna do that after the burning phoenix event Okay, so again, for the roster, guys, um, you be you need to develop multiple teams for Team PvP. Also, for PvP, because uh, not only Team PvP, but PvP, because PvP and Team PvP, the, these are your content really for the end game. These are currently, I'm um, sorry. Um, keep on pressing the wrong button so director showdown there you go so this one will far will will, will get you a lot of uh, um uh summoning currency single fight and team fight again this will be end game content you have to develop your 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 uh roster for this one multiple teams probably theme teams in the future encroaching cold um, you have your ignite teams, your fire teams. You have your what's the other team? I forgot the other team. So my point is, you'll have to develop uh, multiple teams, probably theme teams that will fit each of the stages moving forward. Sorry, wind or animo teams will also um, have their theme as well. So. Those will carry over to the end game. And I just want to take note, guys. Um, if you haven't noticed this, there's a weapon icon here. It's actually no use. It's just an icon at this point. But in the previous incarnations of, uh, of this game, the weapon was actually upgraded. So it, this was upgraded. This was part of your stat. I'm not sure if they're bringing it back. But it would be nice if they would bring this back and give more buffs to your to your heroes. So again, weapon might be one of the end game upgrades that we will be having. So at this point, um, what to prepare for the end game? So you will have to farm better plays, play sets. You'll have to farm playsets and where to farm them. You'll be farming them in here, Outland. You'll be farming them in your Mesmerizing Labyrinth. So this is where you'll have to end up. You'll have to complete this, the last stage. This is actually one of the best stages for farming. And you have to also prioritize on the days that you need to farm. Sorry this one so i just clicked on it so for each day there's a different drop a priority drop if you want to save it for a specific drop be my guest but more or less it's ideal that you don't save as much because sometimes you then don't you can't finish everything so again farming better play sets is going to be key for the end game also what you need to prepare is in your place, let's say for example, for for Cerslet, I'm not changing her plays anymore. So this is going to be her specific play. This is her. So again, upgrade is one of the things that we're doing. Exalt is going to be harder because you need copies or a sublime muse to use it. Adapt, however, is going to also play a key. So you need to make sure that you use the gold ones. The gold ones actually have four slots in them. Uh, purple ones have uh, have three. Blue ones, like for example, this one, the blue ones only have two um, random slots. So more or less go after 
the gold ones or the SSR ones because you'll be you'll have to get more stats for your heroes eventually in the end game. So again, adapt is going to play a significant role. Also for sign, you'll have to sign if you're confident that that play is going to stay in in that specific hero of yours then you'll have to sign because there's an increase of 10 percent effect only for the signer okay so basic stats will have an increase so currently for uh, for her for Sirslet, she already has signed so end game upgrades will be important guys i i'm not kidding you they're going to put you through um, more content in the future and to be able to walk through to go over content in the future also weapon might play a part i'm actually thinking that they might might add upgrades to weapons so again just gonna repeat that for you guys but there would be content that i think they need to open yet one is the union union is guild type probably boss fights and lots of rewards i'm actually hoping that that is the scenario for the guild i'm excited for the guild because a lot of people asking me to create the guild which definitely i will when this opens but again this is one of the content that we are looking for in the end game i'm glad that they locked this so that we could just finish up you know warming up to the game for the first three weeks or the month and probably they could open union for us and so that we could play guild battles with other guilds with bosses and i'm really really looking forward to this for the end game so for the troop there's also one content here that uh, hasn't been opened yet uh the rehearsal hall this is is i've seen this before it's like a a piano room we're in rehearse. I haven't I, I haven't really gone through rehearsal hall, but and let's go back to the lobby guys and uh, go through uh, Outland one last bit. There's another content there that needs to be unlocked as well for the end game, which is translucent domain. So again, um I just really really hope that the end game content is going to be worth all the grinding that we have at this point um there are a few things that i think that they should you know address um the energy system because again if they really want us to spend i really do hope it's in someone's not in spending and not in spending energy so guys devs please make make changes in in in, in the energy system because it really lack energy here in this game Right now, we're spending summoning currency for energy, which is a bad thing at this point. I don't really like this setup. They should change that. Farming also for you know, Dobrio stalls would, you know, be a good improvement in the future if they could, you know, have, sorry, consistent ways to farm Dobrio stalls. That would be good. And also... Um, in terms of the banners, again, I get that you want to put out a lot of banners, but um, the the way that banners have been put out have been such a crazy pace. The only reason why it's such a crazy pace, I think, as well, is that they, they plan to release new characters right away. And they're releasing, you know, like now, Shero is out. Then... The next banner is Liv, which is a current character. So at this point, I'm, I'm not really, it's not really a problem. But again, a lot of banners is going to give the community a bad taste in terms of not being able to save for a specific banner. I know that not every banner, not every hero in this game, you'll get every in every banner. But again, uh, players need to save. At least give them the chance to save for the next banner before you roll them out. So, again, hopefully, I think there will be collabs in the future for this game. So, hopefully, in those collabs, we can save more at this point. But, who knows? So, 
that is the end game content guys so what do you think of the end game what do you think um i i need your comments um so again prepare for the end game upgrades um upgrade all as much as possible develop your teams prepare for you know theme teams or 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 what do you call this or specific teams if i may say and again there are a lot of you know content still available to be unlocked so i'm looking forward to what do they open next okay so now that i'm in the end game i'm just finishing up everything polishing my account and there you go thank you very much guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here